In the dynamic field of medical science, vertiporfin emerged as a notable drug initially developed for treating age-related macular degeneration. Now it's making a significant stride in hair restoration. Its novel application in this field is propelled by innovative experiments and studies suggesting a transformative impact on hair transplant procedures. Now, to understand how vertiporfin works, we have to look at a specific interaction of a protein called YAP, the yes associated protein, and how this protein deals with the formation of scar tissue. And also, what does scar tissue have to do with hair transplants? Well, in the technical explanation of the yes associated protein or YAP and its role in fibroblast behavior, as detailed in the review titled, quote, is the future scarless? Fibroblasts as targets for scarless wound healing by Dylan Perry of Newcastle University Medical School and Keith Allison of South T's Hospital NHS Foundation Trust. In this particular review, YAP signaling is identified as a key mechanism in the physiological process of scarring. YAP is a transcriptional co-activator that, when activated, influences the behavior of fibroblasts. And fibroblasts are a type of cell that contributes to the formation of connective tissue. So when it comes to specific wounds, sometimes the wounds are too deep, and this YAP protein causes these fibroblasts to create scar tissue in the healing process. YAP activation leads to the stimulation of engrailed 1 or EN1 gene in fibroblasts, promoting a fibrotic response. Now, this fibrotic response is characterized by the production of excess scar tissue as opposed to regenerative healing that would restore normal skin structure. Now, vertiporfin intervenes in this process by blocking the YAP pathway. This inhibition or blocking prevents the activation of the EN1 gene in fibroblasts, thereby shifting their behavior toward a more generative mode. Essentially, vertiporfin suppresses the molecular signals that typically lead to scarring and encourages a healing process that more closely resembles the natural regeneration seen in early human development. This mechanism of action is pivotal in understanding vertiporfin's potential in reducing scarring in various medical applications, including hair transplant surgeries. So let's use a more layman's explanation to explain what's going on here. Imagine your skin is a busy city street after an event that causes damage, like let's say a natural disaster. Fibroblasts are like the constructive workers in this city responsible for repairing the damage. The YES-associated protein or YAP acts like a city planner that tells these workers how to rebuild, either quickly and temporarily put something up, like scar tissue, or take time to rebuild beautifully regenerated structure. Usually after an injury, YAP tells fibroblasts to work fast, leading to scarring, which is like a quick but not so pretty repair. Vertiporfin is like a new city law that changes these instructions, telling the workers, or the fibroblast, to rebuild carefully and beautifully, restoring the city, or your skin, to its original state, rather than leaving it with unsightly scars.